one last thing I want to draw out um, that's relevant to this, and that is I made a big deal of saying good, bad and ugly. I made a big deal about that 16%. So your organisation is such that there's been some changes go going on. You might have opened a new branch, you might have some um, sales rep turnover and you've got a lower performance expectation for the first two weeks, you're going to bump it up in six weeks' time. Whatever those scenarios might be, you're in control of all of the controls around everything you just saw that are dynamic. You don't need us to do it, you don't need us, us to update the system. So picking on that one that was the quotes, this screen is running on your server and it's the process that's driving out the data to the uh, devices. So here is where I said up to 10 quotes per sales rep is bad. Between 10 and 20 it's better, but above 20 is what we're really looking for, that's in the green zone. I also said when you drill the information down, under 16% as a profit margin is bad, above 16% is good. Now I could have five break points here, I could have two. Here I've got two, here I've got one, giving me three classes of, of range and two classes of range. But again, that's controlled within the report. So it's dynamically reflecting back on the form. You're in control of that. We don't have to do any updates. You, you decide tomorrow that 18% is the number, or you might decide tomorrow that actually we're looking for 25 quotes. We're really going to drive hard for the next two months before the Christmas shutdown. And the other thing, last thing, a part of this process of what we're calling automated task control is the ability to send any trivia reports out to the appropriate people on a regular basis as an email and a PDF attachment in an email. So here I want to basically have a weekly sales task that I set up that's going to run on a weekly basis, it's going to run on a Friday night at 8pm every week. There's two people that are going to be involved in receiving this and it's an Acrivia report, it's not a web-based KPI report. So here is the standard selection screen for all your Acrivia reports. I'm choosing the debtor sales report. Here's my debtor range, my stock group, my stock codes and the time frame and a witty set of email addresses. And once again, multi-select. So if you're only wanting to pick up your primary product, your plasterboard groups, your specialty, whatever is relevant for you guys to receive the information, send the information out, the one thing that will change will be the date. So every Friday this runs, the end time frame for our reporting is essentially right now. 8 p.m. Friday, this thing kicks off, that's our end time frame. If I'm wanting to pick up the performance from Monday to Friday, that's a five-day span. So the start time for that represents the end time less four days. In other words, it's all relative to when the actual data is extracted. I could make that a month, I could make that a day, you saw all the other information that was flying through. Once again, you're in control. There's, there's, where there's power, there's complexity. Um, we do our best to try to reduce that to be nice and clean and usable. There's a crap load of complexity and power, not complexity, there's a crap load of power in what we've just shown you there. There's not much you can't do, but um, we've tried to get it get it clean. You can see this one's a weekly email report where the rest of these were web-based reports. So these are going out to my smart device. This is actually coming out to the appropriate people 8 o'clock on a Friday night to show me what my sales performance was for the week that's just ended as a highly automated task. Run on your server using this. We will be introducing more, more um, things into this. We've, we've now essentially got a service that runs on your server and we can make that do anything we want in terms of the Acrivia data and the overall performance of what your company needs and what your guys need.